you came across this question in the jam exam how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says what is the partial pressure of oxygen gas collected over water at standard atmospheric pressure and 25 degrees celsius if the saturation vapor pressure of water is 23 mmhg at 25 degrees celsius now note this mmhg is pronounced as millimeters of mercury mm millimeters and hg is an element called mercury so it's pronounced as millimeters of mercury so what do we do to solve this question it is very easy now for me specifically i already know the formula to solve this question so how will you know what to do to solve this question when you see this question in your exam specifically the jammed examination there is a statement i saw in this question that serve as a confirmation to the formula to use to solve this question and that statement is collected over water please take note that statement is what collected over water they said what is the partial pressure of oxygen gas collected over water so when i saw that i didn't know what to do and i'll get the answer correctly solution so whenever you are solving any question pertaining to this same concept in the jam exam and you see the word collected over water there is a formula you must take note of and that formula is simply pt is equal to p gas plus p water vapor plus what p water vapor now i explain everything now pt means pt means total t means total and this is pressure so pt means total pressure of the gas mixture are you getting me now and this one means specifically the partial pressure of the gas in the question and what is the gas in this question oxygen gas which is symbolized as o2 so p gas signifies the gas do you understand which is the partial pressure of the gas and p water vapor is the partial pressure of water vapor in the question so let's look at this question specifically to know what exactly we are to solve for the question says what is the partial pressure of oxygen gas meaning that they are asking us to get the partial pressure of the gas which is oxygen gas and they are asking us to get p gas okay collected over water I already know that this is the formula to use at standard atmospheric pressure now this must be noted this word standard atmospheric pressure will tell us our pt please take note this word standard atmospheric pressure will tell us our pt because the standard atmospheric pressure is a value and it is 760 mmhg please take note the standard atmospheric pressure is the value and it is 760 mmhg so when you see the same thing in the exam know that standard atmospheric pressure in this context is what 760 mmhg now there's something you have to note here now there are other cases where they will not use the word standard atmospheric pressure they will give you the value by their self in the question do you understand they will say collected over water at any value at all this one they just use the word standard that's why i have to be specific to tell you guys that standard atmospheric pressure is this but in other cases of question which i'll give you guys so can, they can just bring anything here okay they can still put the 760 there or anything so you have to note that class so and 25 degrees celsius now what you can see here that i did not discuss anything about temperature meaning that we are not using the temperature to solve in this question are you getting me now if the saturation vapor pressure of water if the saturation vapor pressure water vapor vapor pressure of water is what 23 mmhg meaning that p water vapor p water vapor is what p water vapor in the question is what 23 mmhg so what exactly are we looking for ga class p gas we are looking for the partial pressure of the gas which is oxygen gas so what do we do very easy let's make it subject to formula so p gas will not be equal to what happens this p water vapor will cross do you understand when it crosses this equality sign when it crosses the this equality sign it becomes negative do you understand it was plus p water vapor it become minus p 
water vapor. You know, water vapor is symbolized as H2O. Do you understand? So when that happens, we have to get the P gas to be PT minus P water vapor. I believe this is clear. PT minus P water vapor. So what becomes P gas, which is the partial pressure of the gas, is going to what, what the P2 we all are finalized to be. It is 760 mmHg minus what's the P water vapor, which is partial pressure of water vapor. It is 23 mmHg. So here becomes 23 mmHg. So class, what becomes the P gas? What becomes the partial pressure of the gas? 760 minus 23, and that is. 737 mmHg. So this is the partial pressure of the gas to be specific in this question, oxygen gas. So I believe you now understand how questions under this aspect are being solved without stress. So I want to give you your own practice questions so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section. Whereby here you already know that standard atmospheric pressure is 760, and let's just change the pressure of water before. Let's say here is uh 30. Or let's just switch here as 27. Okay, it's still the same thing. You already know what to do. Remember, you don't use temperature to solve. Okay, so this must be noted. I have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of this type of question. I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen.